The second annual Equine Youth Day was held recently in Atlanta. Hundreds of young equestrians made their way to the event to show lawmakers the popularity of their favorite pastime. The Monitor's Mark Wildman was there and he has this report. Mark? Under the Gold Dome in Atlanta, lawmakers got to see a gallery full of young people who came to the House chambers dressed in cowboy hats and blue jeans. If y'all have noticed, there's several cowboy hats around the Capitol today, and these are good folks with plenty of horse sense that maybe some of us need to listen to. While there, the youngsters got to hear that the day was officially Equine Youth Day at the state capitol. For those of y'all that didn't take Latin, Equine is horses, mules, and ponies. They also got to hear what a large industry horses are in Georgia. University of Georgia keeps up with 60 commodities that we produce in the state of Georgia, and they keep up with the farm gate value of each commodity. Horses in the state of Georgia are number six out of 60 commodities with a farm gate value of around $414 million coming into this state. Down the road at the freight depot, over 700 individuals made the trip to show their support. The purpose is to recognize the youth equestrians of Georgia who have um, teamed up with their horse to uh, do great things. 200 young riders were recognized for their achievements in various equestrian events. We had uh, goat tires, we had barrel racers, we had team ropers, we had headers, we had healers. Uh, we had bull, bull riders and bareback riders, and uh, they were all champions and national qualifiers. Other dignitaries that were on hand to show their support included U.S. Congressman Nathan Deal, Commissioner of Agriculture Tommy Irvin, and Deputy Commissioner of Agriculture Terry Coleman. This day is about the kids. This is about promoting young people that excel at their sport. And it's about letting the legislators and the people of Georgia know how important this industry is and how beneficial it is for the youth and what it does to keep our kids out of trouble. The sure size of the event sends a very strong message to Atlanta that this is a very important industry that brings a lot of revenue to Georgia. Horses are every bit as important as soccer and baseball and football and to finally get some recognition, we were absolutely thrilled. This event is only in its second year and has grown tremendously from last year's event. For our state to have over a, well over 150 uh, youth that have qualified for their national and world championships or they've won events in the state or won events in the FFA or 4-H uh, and have a crowd this size, it's just an exciting thing, an exciting time and to say that Georgia is all about equine. Georgia is known for producing some of the best athletes in the world and the students who are recognized on this day are really at the top of their game. Some of these kids are, have excelled extremely well and there are some kids in here that could go on and do just about anything you ordinarily think of cowboys and cowgirls from Texas, Oklahoma. We, we got some very educated young kids and very good horsemen and horsewomen. Reporting from Atlanta, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.